Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel on another Marvel Future Fight content. And yes, finally we have this sneak peek for uh, the October update. Um, this sneak peek one. And uh, you have already, maybe, um, many of you ha have already uh, seen it. And it's all about uh, the, uh, the new Phoenix Force uh, basically update is... Um, and the first sneak peek uh, we can see like uh, the shield of Captain America and it's obvious I mean it's confirmed that Captain America is getting a new uniform a new Phoenix Force uniform basically last year not last year uh, I mean in 2019 we got a Phoenix Force update where we got uniforms for Cyclops uh, Emma Frost Magic and Namor and Colossus so we're getting another Phoenix Force update and uh, this time around we're getting uniforms uh, it's it's kind of speculations like we will get uniforms for uh, uh, Wolverine, uh, Black Panther and uh, even Shang-Chi is a member of this new Phoenix Force uh, team as well. So let's see what this sneak peek team is uh, telling us. Greetings agents, this is the fragment of Marvel Future Fight. Uh, the Phoenix Force has returned to find new hosts. As many superheroes and supervillains alike compete to gain the enormous power of the Phoenix Force, this superhero has decided to join the fray to protect the power from falling into the hands of evil. The shield burns bright. Will this superhero be able to protect both the world and his justice? So let us uh, quickly take a look at this sneak peek itself. And uh, my sound is muted to avoid the copyright claims. So this is all about this sneak peek guys. So we can see the shield of uh, Captain America and it's kind of confirmed that Captain America is going to get a new uniform. You heard me guys, you heard me right. And uh, this uniform is a uh, year old, almost two years old. This uniform is almost two years old. And uh, we're getting a new uniform for Captain America. And this time the Phoenix Force uniform for Captain, Captain America will be a hero uniform because last time uh, all the Phoenix Force uniforms that turn the character into a villain character like Namor with the base look he is a hero but with this uniform he is a super villain and the similar thing happens to uh, Colossus, uh, Cyclops, Emma Frost and other Phoenix Force uh, characters who got the Phoenix 5 update and uh, this time around they have uh, mixed this uh, this uh, text like superheroes and super villains so it's it's kind of confusing that uh, maybe Namor will get another uniform for phoenix force and he will remain a super villain or maybe uh, someone else is going to be a super villain i don't know so that's it uh, that's uh, that's about the sneak peek but that's not uh, for our today's video our today's video is about Valkyrie ABX um, Crescent um, uh, I, I have seen some uh, videos that Crescent has replaced Valkyrie in ABX so um, I mean Crescent does have some values and she has got a new leadership so uh, I don't know because I, I don't have Crescent build up and I have not bought, uh, bought his uniform bought her uniform yet but I like to play with Valkyrie and I'll show you my gameplay today with Valkyrie and uh, it's it's uh, it's kind of Valkyrie is kind of um, I mean not an easy character to play with because uh, her skills does not deal that much damage uh, her her well, fifth skill and uh, fourth skill does a bit damage but one two three basically third skill is the accumulation so, but one two three uh, skill doesn't do that much damage and her waking skill she's a she's an awakened character so you have to keep it in mind that she's not a she's not a, a tier 3 character so let's quickly uh, show her build and then we'll jump into the abx gameplay for today's uh, combat superhero female okay so my valkyrie has 49k uh, physical attack she has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 origin blessings i think it's too much i think uh, uh, 5 or 6 origin blessings i think enough for her to do her maximum uh, score in ABX, all the skills are at level 6, type is at rank 4, ISO 8 is at stage 11, power of angry hulk, and she has CTP of rage, obviously rage is the best option because she is not a proc friendly character, and uniform is at mythic, with 3 uniform options, uh, options available, 
okay so i don't have these two maybe i will buy these two eventually because i need these two uniforms for luna as well so okay uh, let's quickly set our team and then we'll jump into the action but first uh, let me keep the graphics at low because of some laggings because of factory skills okay I'm using She-Hulk's leadership. This is uh, this leadership uh, gives me 65% damage increase to male type characters, and Beast is kind of a male type character. And Valkyrie is self buffing character. She has 50% uh, damage increase and 30% ignore dodge. And uh, I'm using Sif because Valkyrie and Sif has a team up that is a uh, sh uh, shield maiden of Asgard. You can also use uh, Red She-Hulk. Basically, the effects are exactly the same. So let's jump into the action and um, Valkyrie doesn't have any specific rotation but what I'm going to show you is uh, what could be better if you use this I mean this would be better if you use this rotation for Valkyrie I'm not going to talk through the entire gameplay so just watch carefully Okay, so I did 7.7, 7, uh, but my best score was 7.9, and uh, this both of these scores are not my best score. I can do 8.2 with her. So basically, what the problem is, problem basically happened with Valkyrie, is uh, she gets card broken, and each time she gets card broken, and uh, you can also see that I uh, I, I just uh, wasted one of my awakening skill um, on the third row. Uh, that was my mistake basically uh, I would have uh, scored 8 million if I would have, uh, have not uh, wasted that awakening skill but the fact is uh, you have seen the problem with Valkyrie I mean um, 
what you need to uh, basically uh, 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 basically uh, think about uh, when you are playing with Valkyrie is uh, you need to proc on the sixth skill because most of her damage comes from a sixth skill uh, and if you have good luck with City of Rage because uh, with Valkyrie the City of Rage basically doesn't want to proc that much well so you need to if, if you I mean um, if you can manage to do that in that case you will get a very good score with Valkyrie she's very good trust me she's very good character for ABX I'm not lying uh, I, I usually play with her and um, and she is my best and, and I love to play with Valkyrie although she is not a very good character to play with I mean she is very annoying uh, because just because of these procs and uh, the card broke I mean the card broken from uh, the beast so um, that's all for today's video guys uh, I hope uh, this this video and this uh, Valkyrie rotation uh, will help you to to good score with Valkyrie and uh, although she doesn't have any rotation but still uh, see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and goodbye.